Hermano, it's good to see you. Holy smokes, are those all, those are all headsets back there? Yeah, headsets, uh, stimulation type technology, uh, measurement type stuff. Yeah, we got a, the space suit back here. So fully uh, uh, sensory deprivation with some light crystals in there. We've got measurements of like uh, brain waves and lots of ways to measure fascia uh, from all that work we did with you uh, two years ago. Yeah, so tell everybody about who you are and, and what you do and how, how this all came together. Yeah, so my name is Kareem Delgado and um, I live a life of service. Uh, I guess uh, I've been a meditator for 25 years now, Vipassana. And uh, this all came together. My dad passed away from Alzheimer's nine years ago. So I started on this uh, journey to taking all my R&D superpowers uh, with telecom and all kinds of different uh, fields and uh, put together a technology platform that allowed us to actually measure the human body at a deep level, the emotional, physical, psychological, and biological level so that we could try to find a solution for Alzheimer's. And uh, fast forward to, to now, uh, we've now created a platform, it's a human enhancement uh, platform that allows us to actually get into deep into fascia, brain, emotions, uh, deep biology. Um, super cool because I, I met Gary three years ago, right Gary, something yeah. like that? Three years ago. Yeah, and uh, we, were working on, we were working on this therapy that we're actually affecting people through the fascia, through their biofield without touching them. And uh, connected with Gary and we, he's like, whoa, man, you just popped up like a hundred different releases of fascia through Zoom, what's going on here? Uh, so got on a car, went to hang out with you for a week, that turns into months, uh, that turns into years. Yeah, and, uh, that, yeah, yeah you, so people will know that, I said you were in there, in there at, at, at Lions Bay with the Alpha Lab in our basement set up with brain scanning equipment, uh, with, uh, with photonic scanning, with uh, um, altitude, oxygen, uh, ozone. It, it was crazy because when we met, you challenged me to actually say, we, we, the stuff is working, but can we actually develop like the science, measure the impact on the human body and the fascia? So it was super interested. I had to get into like nonlinear systems, computer systems and measurements and infrared and all kinds of things. And we built like a lab to measure the impact of fascia and we started measuring. So we talk about, people talk about being beings of light. We can actually measure somebody's biofield. People talk about the meridians. We can actually measure the meridians, chakras, uh, and even the impact of organ flow and energy. Uh, so we started measuring these things and we started doing maneuvers and training with you guys. And we started seeing the impact of fascia in all parts of the brain and all parts of the body. Um, and it was super cool because then we started saying, how can we actually start hacking it? That's where things got interested, didn't it, Gary? Now, <laughs> now, I know there's lots of biohackers out there that are biohacking the body. And I would say that's what you were doing when we met. I was. I was, I was my perception of the body was muscle, skeletal, and hormonal. But uh, we were looking at trauma and where it was stored. We thought it was in the autonomic nervous system. And when we met you and started working with you, we realized this is in the fascia. So I became pretty obsessed about fascia, how to affect fascia, how to measure the impact from photonics, so what from things be, like sounds, light. What would be the difference? It's like for somebody who's out there who has, um, who's using uh, brain equipment, the standard brain therapist, neurological stuff, um, EEG, stuff like that, like that's a pretty small spectrum of what you're doing, right? That's right. I mean, if you think about measurements, we're looking at the complete uh, mind, body, and spirit measurements now, right? Uh, when we do a lot of those tools, but we're building a 360 perspective view of the human body with a definition of layers of the brain, muscle, skeletal, fascia, and even the biofield and how to affect it. And as we go through, we're innovating in ways to affect it. So the gentleman that was on uh, earlier, love him, we gotta connect with him. Beautiful, you know, how to actually change pressure. So one of the things that we did, for example, when we're talking about how we're doing it, uh, pressure. So when we trained with you, we realized that internal pressure, external pressure affect the fascia. Um, so what we did is actually innovate and say, what would happen if we actually put in 50,000 feet above sea level inside of your body? 
and then get a torquing machine like Gary to put some torquing pressure in the outside, the releases that we get are years worth of therapy in a 45 minute yeah. session. We, you know, so at, what we did is we, <clears throat> we put, a, we put a, a mask on, we brought the body up to 50,000 feet inside the body, yeah. 50,000 feet. We did a, we did a pretzel squat, then I applied <laughs> pressure on top of it. Yes. And then, and then we, then we dropped it from 50,000 feet to pure oxygen. And then the body just sank into it. The fascia just melted. Five times the amount of oxygen. So we super hydrated, super, super oxygenated the fascia system. Five times the amount of oxygen. We call it the Mexican lowrider, right? We went like this, the, and all of a sudden went, shh. And then we're like, hey, we're hydraulic. Check this out, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, the, so one of the things that I, that I noticed, Eric, like, like for people who don't know you, like this has been a life's work for you, and, and you're like – that saying, you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. You're the guy who's in for a pound, always. So, like, you, like you slept with, with an MRI headset every day for five years or something like that, right? Yeah, that's right. I have probably more sleep data through clinical grade EEG than, than anywhere else in the world. Because I'm fascinated by measurements. Because if we can measure, we can know what impacts it, and we can know the direction. For us, what, what was it that you we, noticed the first time that you did fascia maneuvers? Do you, what happened to your sleep? Oh, geez. Like, like, I mean, so deep sleep is a brainwave that Alzheimer's patients can't make. It actually helps with clearing of amyloid plaque. And uh, the first time that I got there and we did fascia maneuvers, uh, I actually got an hour worth more of deep sleep. And I was getting about, I'm pretty dialed in, I was getting about an hour and a half of deep sleep uh, a day, but I got up to two and a half hours that first time. Why is that important? Because delta waves is what we actually release when we're healing the body. If we don't actually release delta waves when we're sleeping, we don't actually generate our biology. We can't clear our brains. It's, it's a key component to, to human regeneration and performance. So we're going to be, this is actually the compilation of all that research we did together. This is you going away in the mad scientist, working on this, studying this, taking, taking lab rats, which are patients, and working with them, and then creating protocols so that, this can, so that these protocols can be delivered to practitioners or to high-functioning individuals for either care or something like Alzheimer's or even things like high-performance traders who trade hundreds of millions of dollars so that they stay completely balanced throughout the day. Absolutely. So the culmination of my life's work is called SmartWell. And SmartWell is a human performance enhancement platform. I don't care what condition you're labeled. I don't care what, what's happening in your life. We're going to upgrade your performance. And what we're fixing to un unveil in the show, if you guys can make it, is actually the Fascia Pro Studio. It is the solution that combines everything that the guy said earlier. We've been able to combine modalities to actually allow anyone anywhere to do this on their own by following easy to follow protocols. And the protocols stack everything from the high pressure to the oxygen, to the lights, uh, different kinds of lights. I mean, we talk about Gary, you know, I remember you getting, uh, growing an inch and a half. This guy grew an inch and a half in five minutes when we hacked, oh, not hacked, where we actually applied a therapy, light therapy into the fascia intranasally. Yeah. He grew an inch and a half and he was in the early fifties at the time. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, we now, again, imagine doing. Watched it happen in real time. Oh, we measured it. We've got video. Now that was through intranasal. Now imagine what's going to happen, Gary, when we put you in intranasal, transcranial, your neck, and a whole body suit of infrared energy. I mean, we got to film that because you're going to be like silly putty man. You're just going to be plastic, and we're going to stretch you, stretch I, you out. I am. I am so <laughs> so ready for this because it's it's the completion, like. What I wanted to have was, you know, like what my journey was, was to do all of this naturally. Because at the end, I want anybody to know that, that the real performance of technology is the human body. Absolutely. So I've done everything naturally. And what we're using, what you're doing is using science to amplify the right way. Because when people amplify through science, they amplify a region or a specific function of the body. 
which then causes imbalances in other functions. That's why like when I work with your head, I have to work with your, your, your um, rib cage, I have to work in your legs. Otherwise the body's not balanced. And what you've done with all the technologies is you put them together to have the entire approach. And I don't know anybody else anywhere on the planet that is anything even, even, scratching, a, even, even scratching the surface to what you're doing. Well, it's beautiful, Gary, because you talked into a key area. This platform allows us to measure, balance, and harmonize. That's a key component. We want to kick in the body's natural ability to find flow. Sometimes you have to nudge it in a way. You can maybe be applying pulse electromagnetic frequencies. We can do things like uh, structuring the water. And, and actually, Gary, it's so exciting. I have so much to share with you on the bioinformatics of crystalline water structure matrix within our bodies uh, i've built for two years we haven't talked about this but it's really grown it's not even affecting we have a deeper understanding to what's going on within the water structures intracellularly externally and how actually you talk about the body being like a supercomputer well we figured out now where the hard drive is for not only our uh, lineage of the cellular energy or our karmic issues or whatever that we pass on to our offsprings but also even much higher level of consciousness. And I so look forward to just the blessing of Gemini with you. Yeah, and I, can't and wait. I, I, I can't wait to see, I mean, you know how sensitive I am to anything treatment wise. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't wait to, yeah. I can't wait to measure, because I mean, I, I, it's been a long time since I've even measured anything. And, and, I'm, and I didn't do it on purpose. And I, I want people to hear this too. Measurement is the best way to apply measurement is to have somebody measure me, not tell me anything about it, go apply the change and then measure and show me the results. Yes. Because I find that, that people that look at measurements too much, like watching your water boil, it, it actually impedes the actual de uh, development. I, I agree with you. And, and I would say that our perspective, being a Vipassana meditator, I've been taught to accept reality as it is. And what happens is, if we don't measure, we don't know we're heading in the right direction, we don't know. Some people are not as sensitive as you and I to understand what the impact is. You don't need the measurements anymore, Gary. You are, you are, you've developed the consciousness to understand the impact of what's going on. But the measurements are important because it tells us the direction, but also it's important that we understand that for us, the measurements are not, not a form of judgment. A cup could be halfway here right now some people can look at the cup and say the cup is halfway full or halfway empty that's a judgment we have to learn to actually observe natural phenomena without judging if we can observe it we can be aware of it if we can be aware of it we can measure it if we can measure it we can know whether we're having we're, we're having the results we're looking to get and have a deeper understanding um, as we go through and in, in our healing process and our waking of our consciousness so just for everybody there, here, you're actually going to have a station at the event. So if somebody has a disease pathology, something that's going on, you're going to be actually demonstrating the evaluation, the fascia lab, fascia measurement lab. You're going to be actually measuring people at the event itself, right? That, that's right. I would say that not, not necessarily, I just want to share, uh, we move away from the concept of disease. Disease for us is uh, restrictions of the flow or not being at ease. I just want to make sure that that's our definition. Yeah, right? yeah. But Mine, that, yeah, that, body's not at ease. That, I think everybody yeah, here yeah. is on the same page. Yes. Yeah, yeah, disease that, is my body's not at ease. So if I'm angry, frustrated, fearful, if I got bloating that's constant, if I got a big bowel movement that's not coming out, it's real shitty, but I'm not at ease. That's right. So we can measure that through, we can measure that through your biofield. We can measure meridians, which we study when we do fascia work, uh, your chakra system. Uh, we talk about beings of light. Actually, guys, come by the booth. We'll measure your output of photonic energy and how that translates into bodily functions. We'll show you the impact of fascia and your brain functions. So what we're really big into, Gary, is measuring functions. Either stuff works really well or it doesn't. Either you're performing or not. And if you're looking to measure your performance, we've got the Health IQ station, and it measures all these kinds of different things. Um, and then once we know what's going on, we can then focus 
um, the, the fascia application of getting maybe into, um, you know, getting into lights to actually butter up the fascia, you know, to actually get it balanced and prepare to get into some high altitude compression therapy, which honestly is about years of therapy. But let's not forget, these are all different technologies, but the most wonderful technology there is, the superior technology is biological system. Yeah. And all these technologies are just tools that takes us to a certain point. After a while, we don't need those tools. It's like yeah. taking a canoe to an island and you don't carry the canoe anymore. And you just go out and enjoy yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no more canoe. I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm moving towards the levitating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be doing some of that at the house. We'll be doing that at an event, but we've got some light crystal technology, some crystal skulls that we're going to be playing around with as well. And the cool thing is that we're actually going to be measuring the impact of all of these different technologies that seem like far off up the skill stuff. But if you guys are ready for a quick psychological and, and psychophysiological adventure and, you know, check, check out the cosmos, it's going to be a fun time out in the mansion. Uh, Kareem, it's been such a wonderful three years. Um, very few people have actually spent time like I have with you, got lived with you and your family, and <laughs> it's made a massive impact on my understanding of fascia um, with our discussions and the and the research that, that we did together. And I'm excited about the two year our three year culmination coming back together. So. Looking forward to seeing you in Austin. Yeah, same here. I just want to thank you for your life's work and uh, just being who you are and opening your heart and sharing those wonderful techniques with the world. It's really, uh, if I had not met you, I would not be in this state of my life. I just want to thank you. It's real impact for you and, and Cynthia and Jason. Like much respect and, and uh, you know, shout out to you guys. Thank you. All right. See you soon. Right, be well. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.